What's up, party people? Jude Snowboarder here from Facebook. Uh, Jude's Junk is my shop and YouTube channel. Um, it's funny, I haven't done a video on uh, newsstand versus direct. I just saw some questions about it, and I was looking through my videos to see if I had uh, done a video on that yet. You know, people are trying to question whether they should uh, collect a newsstand versus direct. So, Everything was newsstand until about 1978, and then the diamond distributors would be considered the first direct copies. So the early diamond distributors were actually rarer than newsstand uh, back in then, 1978, 79. But I don't know if a lot of people uh, really focus on the diamond direct. They still, for some reason, like the newsstand. And then there's charts out there all through this 1978 to the late 80s. Uh, every year there was more and more direct and less and less newsstand. And then it was about 50-50 in what, 86, 85 to 87, 50% uh, newsstand, 50% direct. So you may see a bump in demand for newsstand for 85, 86, 87. You may not. Um, and then I think newsstands ended around 2011, 2013. So if you can get some of the especially the hot books in great condition, newsstand 2011, 2013, uh, they're gonna be pretty pricey. I've seen the charts on the percentages of which, how many comic books were newsstand versus direct all through the 80s, and they might be accurate, but it looks like someone could have just created that, and so I don't know if those uh, charts are accurate. I don't know if anybody really knows. I think a lot of people have been trying to guess, but one of the interesting things about direct, and I used to collect back in the 80s, I was 10 years old in 1980, and we would go down to the newsstand, and everything I bought, I have thousands of comics from the 80s, all newsstand, all mint condition, and I went to the bookstore, and so they they sold them on a rack, like a spinning rack, those metal spinning racks, and if you're a short kid, reaching to the top, you pull the comic books forward and flip through them, so there's a crease on every single one, so most of the newsstands got crunched in those metal uh, spinning racks that's well, that's one issue and they were just handled and kids would go read it and then put it back on the rack so um, I'd have to get down there early in the morning before they even put it on the rack you know or, or right after school on my little bike and then try to carry them home in a bag riding my bike without you know destroying them um, so I was very very careful and the newsstand people hated it because I was like don't touch the comic books please but I was like 12 years old 13 14 15 years old doing that one of the things I found out about Newsstand is the relationships they had with Marvel and DC was different. So apparently with Newsstand, anything that wasn't sold was sent back and destroyed. So that's another indicator of why Newsstands are even less. So if there was, you know, 100 books and, and only 20 sold, then, then 80 of them got sent back and supposedly were destroyed. Um, I, I couldn't, you couldn't quote me on that, but um, that is uh, the standard process I think that um, booksellers used with these bookstores um, if you're using the CLZ app the old barcodes from the 80s aren't going to pull up your exact book the barcodes didn't pull up the exact book until I don't even know when after 2000 sometime but um, there's some books in the 80s where the the UPC symbol the newsstand symbol is on the back Wolverine 8 keep an eye out for it if you can get a newsstand back I just found a mint condition of Batman the Dark Knight Returns number two sent it in got a 9-8 got it signed by Frank Miller and there was a newsstand on the back people don't know that some of these um, newsstand logos are on the back because people Mark Marvel and DC thought hey they, people don't want to see that let's put it on the back so people that are not aware are selling newsstands and uh, I just saw Punisher War Journal 1, and I asked the guy to see the back. There is no newsstand and no direct on there whatsoever. So there's a few comics that have neither, which is kind of interesting. So anyways, um, usually in 9.8, you're going to see the newsstands worth more. Um, pretty much 1978 forward. Before that, everything was newsstand, so it doesn't matter. But um, ever since direct came about in 78, if you can get a 9.8 newsstand, it's usually going to be worth more. Uh, no matter what year but once you get down into the lower grades uh, it's very often that uh, they're equal or there's no discernible difference in value like i've seen some books where the nine eights are much much higher the nine sixes are a lot higher then you get down to nine fours and they're maybe a little higher but nine nine twos same exact price so a lot of moving parts anyways happy hunting guys hope that's helpful